taken by this feeling baby we're invincible hi guys and welcome back to another episode of rebuilding Notts county as always if you're enjoying the save drop a like on the video that would be tremendous so I thought we'd just start on the league table today since we've got no off-camera games in between. We've got two games, basically, to try and win the league. We've got a little bit of a distraction before what looms ahead in the Champions League final, quite frankly, which is on the 27th. So, we've got one for today at home. We've got... We're going to have to rest a few players for this game. But then we do have a full week between that and the Everton game. So, we should be able to be full compliments for the Everton match, which is going to be needed because we're away from home. And they're not... The, I mean, they're on good form, actually, at the moment as well. In addition to that, there's then 12 days after that, so we should be able to stay fully fresh for the Champions League final, which is really, really good indeed. Now, Liverpool did win their game off in hand uh, against Bristol City. Sorry, no, we now have a game in hand. So, they're currently top, but only on virtue of the goal difference, but we've got that game in hand. So, if we can beat Watford today, which we should be able to do, we will go back to the top and onto 91 points. Uh, and then we would just need a point at Goodison Park to go and win ourselves another Premier League. We're on, I think, our record points tally already. It's crazy that Arsenal have got so many of the players on these top average ratings, and yet they still find themselves 16 points off the top of the league. That's how good uh, Liverpool and us have been this year. And pretty much for most of this save, it's actually crazy how consistent Liverpool have been. But I think beating them in that knockout phase might be one of my favourite moments in FM ever, to be honest. So that's how things stand. Bristol City can still stay up, but they've got to hope that Bournemouth don't take any points. Uh, who are they playing? Bournemouth are away at Brighton, so if Bournemouth take anything there, really, they're probably going to be safe, and Bristol City will go down. It's a shame, though. It's nice to see these sort of sides put up a, a fight, at least. At least no one's got, like, 11 points. Someone's at least done okay. Still not the best, though. Right, let's just jump straight into things against Watford. So, as for what they're going to do, it's a 4-4-2. Okay, interesting times, which actually give us a chance to rest a few players out anyway, so I'm not opposed to that at all. So, changes that have to be made. I'm still going to have to start Greg Campbell. We really cannot afford to start Uranus there. Um, what other changes can we make? So, obviously, Mammy's in. I can't put Sean Carlos there. We'll have to play Juan Tier, so it's not ideal. And I'm actually going to play him as an inside forward. We've got no choice. I want to go with that. Uh, I'm going to start De Los Santos instead of James Unger. Start Acevedo instead of Silva. Is there anyone else we could put in at the back, perhaps? Uranus, maybe, instead of... Instead of uh, VKB. Make sure we've got Jean Carlos on the bench, just in case we need to move to something later on. But it gives him a chance to have a little rest as well. I know he's pretty much fresh, but still. I, I cancelled a lot of uh, training sessions and just put in the key stuff to make sure that we had the best chance here. So I think that's fine. That's what we're going to go with. Or should we? Yeah, no, we'll have those that way around. I don't want Dubois being the one breaking forward. We could move to positive. Depends how things go. It worked well against Liverpool, but Watford are a worse team, so we'll see. Honestly, my biggest concern is going to be Greg Campbell, but we really can't afford to put anyone else in, in that position right now. It says we're potentially a point away from clinching the title here, which is bollocks, obviously. <laughs> a point for us here would mean we'd be one point above Liverpool with a game to, the game to go. Like, that is not how this works, mate. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that we don't get any injuries before the Champions League final. That's the main thing. But I do want to make sure that we go and grab ourselves a league win while we're at it, you know. Uh, but we'll see. I'm interested. Oh, God, that's offside comfortably, Gordon, there. Right, I'm making a weird change here. Uh, I'm bringing James Unger on to play as a right wing back instead of Campbell today because he's actually not got bad defensive attributes. And we need someone in there and I can't afford to risk Campbell. Juan Tierso, can he get the early chance for us? All the way across and... Wow, how the hell did Guerra get that not on target there? That's crazy. So I'm actually going to move him up to a complete wing back, sat in the wing back role so he's a little bit more comfortable. Um, but we need someone there. It's certainly going to give us a lot of attacking threat down that side. How he'll do defensively, I don't know. But oh wow, that's got to be a goal. What a save from Suarez. Oh, lovely ball for Tierso. Going to just ghost past one person. Into oh, he's all the way through. Juan Tierso! What a chance that was. What a moment. I don't know how Unger's going to do playing as a right back for us, but this is what I mean. Allowing that added play down this side. He's all the way through. And Tierso! Oh, nearly. Well, I mean, if that's anything to go by, chances are going to be created with him out there. Acevedo. Because they're just not going to be used to that kind of quality coming from a right back. Here we go. Unger's got it. He's going again. One pass one. Ball across. Tierso's in there. I oh, can't get the shot away either. He is getting a lot of chances tonight. I feel like he's going to score. Acevedo. Goes past one. Loads of room. Men surging into the back post. Acevedo all the way across. De Los Santos. Beckert. That's offside. I think that was De Los Santos that got the touch on that, but that's going to be offside. Still, chance creation wise, this is phenomenal. Creating an awful lot. Look at the space for Tierso. Overlaps for, uh, overlaps for days. De Los Santos. Oh, come on. Even if it's just something from a free kick, it'll have to do. Guerra's ball. Back post. De Los Santos cleared. Oh, 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 thank God for that. Unger. Staying back. He's got room, though. Goes all the way through. James Unger again. Half time, and I say we're doing pretty well. We're just lacking that final touch there, really. Come on. Just need one goal. Defensively, we look pretty solid so far, but we just need that one goal to finish things off. I feel like if James Unger 
he might even be able to get it from fullback, to be honest. If he could just find that one little opening, Gareth Ball, lovely ball whipped in, and it's in the back of the net. It's Remedy Dubois. There we go. Notts County 1, Watford nil. Huge goal from Remedy Dubois. He pops up occasionally with a header from a free kick. That seems to be most of where his goals come from, apart from that absolute screamer uh, against Liverpool, I think it was. Just gets in there, gets his head up. Lovely old job. We've got the lead. That's all we needed right now. Beautiful. Unger. Still making his way forward. Loads of sp space for Tierso. It's nice to give our touch a rest, to be honest. Tierso goes past one. Whip. Why is this suddenly back again? <laughs> What's going on here? Making a couple of extra changes just to sort of keep people fresh and stop them getting injured, really. So we're going to get Garrett off for Rincon. Nice ball for De Los Santos. Can he find the square ball? He can! Oh, TSO nearly got in there. Still only 1-0. Like, it could all change. Dubois, nice header down for peace check. Does well to hold on, and he's got the overlap on the right. If anything, he's going to have two overlaps on the right. Oh, just holds on to it. Dubois to ping one, perhaps. Go on, Remy. Around the side for Juan TSO. He's not done well today, but... Finds Acevedo. Back for Dubois. And, oh, dear. <laughs> That's a proper fullback shot there. I've got to be honest, right? James Unger's done a pretty good job as an auxiliary right back today. Uh, we're looking like we're going to keep a clean sheet right now. He's done reasonably well. He's get forward in the right places. He's winning headers like that. He's getting to the next ball as well. He really has done a phenomenal job just covering all the gaps. Tierso, can he finally do something quality tonight? He's ball across and Delos Santos. What the hell was that? Why are you not shooting there? I think we're going to get away with it, but Delos Santos should just be pinging that one at goal. No reason to try and drop that back for peace check. Looks like it's going to be a 1-0 win. And there we go. Notts County 1, Watford 0. We need only a point in the next match to go and grab ourselves a title. A point at Goodison Park will see us become champions of England. And if we can win there, we've got a 94 points, which will be a bloody good season. And 30 league wins too. What a result that would be. Come on. Right, let's get going. I want my booty back. And we got him. Um, so for some reason, it came up in a thing when Booty was warning us about the quality of Watford. And I thought, fuck, screw it. Let's just try and see if he'll come to a contract again. And he did. So we got him back as a coach. Had to get rid of a better coach to bring him in. But you, had, you have to have the booty man involved. It's important to keep him at the club. He's back. Hopefully he won't be such a fair weather friend for us before. Because he wasn't even here like a full season before he buggered off to manage Bristol Rovers. And now he's back. And actually in a more senior position as an actual first team coach now. So hopefully, I, I really hope one day he gets a chance to actually manage Notts County in the Looking Forward episode. That is going to be phenomenal to see. Because I really hope someone does come back. It would just be the best thing ever. Anyway. Premier League today, it's on the line. So, here's how things are. Liverpool are away at Arsenal, who... I mean, that is a really good sign for us. Away at Arsenal is not going to be easy for Liverpool one bit. We, of course, go to Everton. Not going to be super easy, but I think we've got an easier time of it than Liverpool. And all we have to do is get a point, basically. That would be enough for us. 92 points would see us win the league. Also, more important than that, down at the bottom, Bournemouth did lose their game away. So, technically, Bristol City are not gone yet. And not only that, Bristol City are at home against Southampton today. So, a win for them would see them go on to 30 points. Bournemouth, however, host Manchester City. There's a really good chance that Bristol City may well be able to sneak themselves and stay up on the final day if they can just beat Southampton. And it's very much on the cards, I would say. So, a lot of things to keep an eye on in today's game. Hopefully, we just do the job and get ourselves the win, though. That's the main factor. Annoyingly, though, Guerra's got a training injury. I got rid of training sessions and he got a training injury. Um, so, that's good. He's not going to miss the final, but he is going to miss today's game against Everton. Do a little select to Guerra will not be starting up top. Not a chance. Rincon's day. Guerra won't even be on the bench for this one. I touch at least can come back, though. Everyone's very much fresh and raring to go now because we had a full week off, which is always nice. So, we're basically at full strength here. With the exception of, obviously, uh, Gira. So, yeah, that'll be fine. The bench will be Mami, Acevedo, Tirso, of course. De Los Santos, Juranis, Pichek, and, of course, Hadi Islami, because we need a second striker. So, with that in mind, let's just go and try to win ourselves a Premier League title, shall we? I'd be gutted if we threw it away from here, because a lot has to happen. Like, we have to lose, for a start, only the fifth time this year. Not only that, but Liverpool have to win away at Arsenal. Right then, let's go. So, yeah, important to keep an eye on the Bournemouth and... Um, Bristol City matches too, because I really would like to see Bristol City stay up. And Bournemouth have been dangling dangerously close to the relegation zone for a long time now. And I think it's about time they just got the boot at this point. So it'd just be nice to see one of the smaller sides actually stay up in a, in a season. So here's to hoping that. But most importantly, here's to us hopefully getting a title. Well, there you go. Instantly. Gianluca Marcus Dott, the top scorer in the Premier League, has made it one more goal. And Liverpool now trail at the Emirates. So the perfect start for us. We could still we could lose this game as things stand and we'd still be champions. I'd rather not, though. Um, I'd like to actually win the title by a margin for once. I touch. Oh, he's got a ping one. Oh, dangerous. Very dangerous. Beckart. Overlapping all over the shop right now. There we go. A bit of space for Unger. Campbell makes a nice little run over the top. And that defender does not know what's going to hit him here. If he can pull this back, potentially. Unger's going to have to shoot. What a strike. Whew. 
Also, Palace sacked their manager. I think we already talked about this, but they've sacked their manager again. Um, so, yeah, things have not gone well for them ever since they sacked Jesse Marsh, really, have they? They're actually struggling against relegation. They're not going to go down, but, I mean, what a weird turn of events. And Everton are not exactly doing great after sacking Ronaldo, are they? Oh, look at the space for James Unger. Out of his feet again and smashes it at goal. He is getting into space today. He's still got some cup goals and some substitute goals, but he just never seems to be able to consistent when he's given starts. Escobar. Gomez. Everybody in good spots. Here we go again. I touch with a bit of room to get ahead of steam up. Can he find Rincon? Goes past one man. Goes past two men. He's all the way through and a big save again. Here's a question for you. If someone was to score a winner for us in the Champions League final in the next episode, who do you think is most likely to be the man to do that for us? And for me... With the way things have gone in Europe this year, I think the man to score the winning goal if we win the game is going to be iTouch. The amount of quality he's shown this season. I reckon Unger will assist a goal for iTouch and Unger's a through again. I reckon an Unger ball to the back post and an iTouch header. That's my prediction for Ness for now. Let me know what you think in the comment. Liverpool have equalised. I'm not sure who, but it definitely said they've equalised. It's Hanny Hafez. Who else was going to equalise for him? Well, the opportunities have been there, but there we go. Usic has put Arsenal back in front just before half-time. Liverpool are fighting hard against it right now. Bournemouth still winning their game, and Bristol City losing at home to Southampton. That's going to require a hell of a swing to turn that one around. Right, we need a better performance in the second half. Although we weren't too bad in the first half, just possession was really lacking. And uh, yeah, Arsenal now back in front. Although, why is it telling us in the second half? Everton have kept an awful lot of possession against us. It's surprising, actually. But we're still able to create stuff. I just think that Rinko just doesn't make the same kind of runs as Guerra. He just doesn't make those intelligent runs. Like, we're pretty safe as it is with Liverpool losing, but we can't afford to get complacent and it's tipped over. I touch again. He's on his right foot. This is where he wants to be. Could get all the way through. Unger. It's an absolute melee in there and it's cleared. Oh, well, that's poor. That's really poor from Vilbergersen. Campbell as well. Oh, nice ball. Uh, here we go. Can maybe slip one through for Rincon. He does. Rincon saved again. Becker. He's gone out wide, but he's dragging the defender there with him. If he can just find a ball in, headed away. John Carlos, he's not going to be able to keep that at his feet. Surely not. He's got all the way through. Oh, great play from John Carlos. I'm making triple subs. We've got to freshen something up here. It's just not happening for us at the moment. I'm going to get Aslami on for a little bit. See if he can do anything better up front for us. Dubois, out wide for Campbell. This is a great position for him. Can he whip it across? No, he can't. They're just not getting the ball into the sensible areas. A draw would be fine. I just worry about what could happen if we do concede. It would still require two Liverpool goals. We still need another three-goal swing, essentially, in the next half an hour, but it could still happen. Great tackle from Juan Tiersa. It's essentially just... I mean, I would love it. I'd take a nil-nil, to be honest. It would be another clean sheet for us, which would mean we would only would have conceded 21 goals in a 38-game season, which would be terrific from a defensive standpoint. Not great from a going-forward standpoint. It'd be like 30 less than last year. But hey, defensively, we've been so much better, and it's made a huge difference in Europe. That's where the main difference has been. And Southampton has scored a second goal in their game. It looks like it's all done for Bristol City, unfortunately. It's Eslami. Back for Dubois. We're almost overplaying it in places today. Tierso with a nice little flick on for Eslami. He's got to keep that moving, though. Tierso can cut inside, goes for goal, and it's just trickled wide. And Man City have equalised, but it's not going to make a difference, I don't think, down at the bottom. Oh, and Campbell's there. Men surging forward. There's tons of options. One of them is Eslami. Tierso. Oh, somebody shoot. Like, what are you doing? He's taking so long to get his shot away. Campbell goes past his man again. Ball across, cleared away. Okay. A cheeky one right now would be very nice indeed. Aslami. Unger. Saved again. Everton nearly played themselves into trouble there. Uh-oh. Denison Lavora. What a tackle. Beckhart's done amazingly there. And he's looked over the top for Hadi Aslami. He's in here. Great first touch. Can he finish? No, he can't. Couldn't get the shot away fast enough yet again. All in all, though, it's looking pretty damn good for us. It's only going to be a draw, but it doesn't matter because Liverpool have lost at, or are about to lose at Arsenal. It would be nice if we could just steal one late goal, though, to get us the 30th win of the season. That would be really nice. And hang on, Aslami! Oh, what a chance again. That's a free kick. But it looks like we are going to win it by four points. It's going to be the biggest uh, biggest margin of win, actually, in this entire save. And also our record points tally. Uh, best defensive record by nine goals. We've really upped it. Last year, we conceded 38, I think. Uh, and this year, only 21. That's a huge drop in the number of goals conceded. And it's made it much easier for us to just get more points. We haven't had to smash four past everyone every single time. We've been able to win some one nils and grind out results against some of the better sides. It's really made a difference. Evora. Good block. Acevedo clears it. And there we go. We are champions of England. Yes! I mean, it's not such a big deal as it has been in previous years. But to get 92 points is a pretty good result. To finish 15 clear of third place too. Down at the bottom. I mean, they're in, that was an embarrassing final day from Bristol City. It really has cost them. They could have possibly done it. Um, the win might have given them a chance, to be honest, if it wasn't for the goal difference. I still think we should have won that match. Ooh, domination. I got an achievement for that. I don't know what it means, but we'll check. And that makes it four wins in five years, which is not bad going at all. But as you can see as well, you know, just the 21 goals conceded 
that is a terrific season for us and by far our best. But you can see that from goals scored, we I mean, were still the third best, but it was way off of the other guys. Just not even close. But Arsenal also conceded 18 more goals than us, so there's also that. Right, so have a look at the other leagues, because we actually didn't do that last season, because I forgot. And we've got time here, so we may as well do it. So the championship is Cardiff versus Stoke in the final, with Norwich and Brentford coming back up to the Premier League, the, the usual suspects. Down go Birmingham, Middlesbrough and Bradford City, who admittedly, they did lose like their first 11 league matches. So to be fair... Um, they've gained those 31 points over their last 35 games. So they've done okay, but they were clearly never going to stay out that much. Fulham struggling as well down. Coventry doing okay. And Rotherham actually having a really good year. <clears throat> down in League One, it's Mansfield versus Reading in the playoff final. At one point, Mansfield were right in there. And, and weirdly, it was them and Ipswich, but Chesterfield have just completely trounced the league. And now Chesterfield are in the championship. Geisley, unfortunately, are unable to stay up, which is a shame for them. And Wrexham also going down very comfortably with them. In League 2, Charlton and Exeter in the final with Stockport County as champions. Port Vale and Colchester going up along with them. Down go Crawley Town and Solihull Moors, unfortunately for them. Wimbledon just staying there. Boreham Wood have managed to stay in the league as well. And down in the National League, Swindon win the playoff final over Yeovil Town. Uh, Bromley come up as champions despite not winning any of their final five matches. They're still promoted as champions. Down go Basingstoke. Lincoln City relegated out of National League. Wow. Woking and Dagenham and Redbridge. Right. So... That concludes the Premier League for the season, but there's still one more game. And that's not to say there won't be more Premier League, because you know how things can go. But we're in a really good state of form right now. Things could not be better for us, really. We've had that defeat to Spurs, but for the most part, we've looked very, very solid. Very few goals being conceded, which is the main thing. You know, nothing, nothing, one, nothing, nothing, one, one, nothing, one. The Liverpool game is the only game in the last sort of three months that we've conceded more than one goal in. That's a very good sign. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you have, and you're looking forward to the Champions League final tomorrow, drop a like on the video. I'm going to be suiting up, of course, and I'll see you guys. Oh, no, subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course. Uh, I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays on Twitch, so go follow there too, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. It's going to be fun. I'll see you guys soon. Hold your gun, Capybara. Bye-bye. <laughs>